From now on, I shall always speak in Shakespearean. I'm just kidding. We already are speaking Shakespearean, and some of the words he made up is actually used in English language today. I didn't even know he made up words. Yes, he definitely did. Okay. So, hey guys, Nate Willis here. All over the wire. And welcome back to another YouTube video. The last time Oliver was in a video on here was... I don't remember. The, the, whatever the last video he was in was will be on screen. I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna go grab water and I'm gonna go get lazy. Lazy? Yeah. So, today we're doing another reaction video. This one, this is gonna be a trip, all right? Um, this is to an old PowerPoint or series of PowerPoints. I don't know if we'll have enough time in this video for all of them. Uh, at the very least, we'll do this one. A PowerPoint that I made in, I wanna say around ninth grade. Uh, it's called 11 Ways to Destroy Your Car, which on its own, you just see that title and it's like, oh no. I don't know why I made this, it's very sh posty. It's, it's, it's interesting. I, I looked through this a bit of time ago. I remember some things, but Oliver has seen some of it as well. It's time for all of us as a group have this experience together. I suppose so, yeah, except for Josh. Mm -hmm. All that out of the way, let's begin. So, 11 Ways to Destroy Your Car by Nate Willis. That's hard to read. Oh, and then the car disappears. Oh. <laughs> In the frame. I think I actually made this image of the frame by taking the car and applying some sort of transparency effect or something to it, and somehow it turned into that. So number one is a drunk driver funny edition. I, I'm not drunk driving is a serious thing. It can't really ever be funny. But let's see if I make let's it start. funny here. Let's just see here. Oh god. We're starting off pretty strong, you know, we got a crappy image Click. of a car, an even crappier image of a background. What kind of a street is this? Where Click. is this? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> it is the bushes. I think about 20 laws of the universe were probably broken right there, so, um, you know, just, probably just a, you know, a, a driver who just does death-defying acts all the time. Noth nothing to worry about here. Blindness. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. This. For some reason, the funniest thing in the world to me, and you can tell it because I put this in here, is in cartoons where characters crash into something and the screen bounces up and down and shakes when they do it. <laughs> and I animated it so badly here. I haven't used PowerPoint in ages. I don't even remember how to do this stuff. Oh. Person in the driver's side, even though there's no one there. Dude, learn how to drive! Uh-oh. Learn. Why didn't I at least, like, put some PNGs of people my, 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 in here? Mario, learn how to drive next time. Well. Oh no! Even more laws of physics were betrayed there, and oh, crash into a propane tank. You know, this this is pretty accurate to what car crashes look like in real life. I, you, you might not have known this, but when a car defies the laws of physics and floats and crashes up into the side of a mountain, a crappy PNG of an explosion effect <laughs> always appears while Very... expelling the ungodly amounts of energy from nowhere. Yes and then causing a blackout. That, that's exactly what happened. This is interesting because I remember I always used to transition these with static. I think I got that from like some other YouTubers or something. Driving into Alcatraz is number two. I used to have an extreme fascination Maybe. with Alcatraz. One day I would like to make a comprehensive video essay about the story, history, legacy of Alcatraz. Anyways, let's move on. Driving into Alcatraz. The car is floating over the water. This is just a it's, little it's concerning. It's a boat car. Yeah, sure. Transform. Oh my lord. <laughs> we went from a car defying about 20 laws of physics, just going to a car defying about 37 of them. Telekinesis. And also, this this PNG, this is like a crappy JPEG. Oh yes, he phases down onto the island. Enter Mario painting music here. <laughs> okay, for one thing, he didn't even land on the road. Oh my god, this PNG is even worse. Someone swamp looks, guy. I need a down to warm. Why does this guard have an extremely high, wimpy ass voice? What? This guard here basically just looks like 90% of uh, footage claiming to be a Bigfoot sighting. Mr. Warden, sir, I heard a noise outside. Some inmates are trying to escape, I think. Oh god, where's the warden? What? The microphone. Sound no, wait, back it up. Yes, the warden himself is the microphone. He's the thermos. Was this picture even taken in Alcatraz? Like, my best assumption is that I searched Alcatraz Warden's office and then just- And this pulled up. Grabbed whatever the first image that actually <laughs> worked was. Okay, so he says to sound the alarm. What the f 
PK fire. Okay. It didn't even hit the car. Okay. Oh my Jesus. PK fire. PK fire. This is this is just kind of weird because I distinctly remember when I edited when I made this, I wanted to make it look like a bunch of different fireballs were raining onto the thing. I spammed copy paste. <laughs> exactly. I guess I was too lazy to actually bother like spreading them. So I just fireball Interval. left it like that. <laughs> oh. Let's see that again. So fire rains down onto the vehicle. Causing the inevitable apocalypse. What does the car do? Just... Diggle it mode. Sinks into the ground. <laughs> it's so good at like a shit post you in. The middle of school? <laughs> It's the middle school. Not the middle, of not the middle school. Three and shh, shh. Ellen, Luigi, board at Elmo. No, I'm in the middle of this. Lunch height equals school pro. I think Massachusetts helps sell Betty with. What kind of video is this? That you're coming up with? Point exclamation point comma. A question mark, question mark, apostrophe, one. hyphen, in, asterisk, one, 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 one. This one, I remember, was the idea of my study hall teacher, I think. <laughs> if you're watching this, you know who you are, shout out. Th there's another one later on that I know for certain was their idea. I think this one was it too, but I can't remember. Okay, that's not, that's <laughs> pretty sure. That's a high school. How large is this banana peel? Bidoop, bidoop, banana. <laughs> From now on, I gotta use that clip of you making that vocalization. I am a soundboard. That's Let's go frame by frame. <laughs> That's not how that works. Dry zone banana peel and parks there. Banana peel phases out of existence to then drag the car back through the wormhole. What does it do? Flips upside down. RKO. Oh, and then it like lightly shakes. Yeah, he slipped on the You're banana You're hatching a new Pokemon. On now. You're hatching a new po- <laughs> Your time has come, my child. But, but I don't want to. Uh, yeah. Giant head comes from the sky. Oh, um, you know something tells me that slipping on a banana peel <laughs> is not going <laughs> to cause <laughs> that to happen. <laughs> What's next? The toilet. Ah, uh, yes. That's all. <laughs> Wee. But th that's window. Excellent way to break into a house, right there. You know, if you plan fast travel, you like break. <laughs> okay, so jelly goes down. Uh -oh. Uh, why is this car so small compared to this room? Um, a uh, personal soundboard. <laughs> oh. Big video. Some sewers. Welcome to the cult of- <laughs> I think I just heard an explosion in the sewers! I'd better go check it out! Hopefully it doesn't cause fun. the rest of the house to explode! Ready for a little fun fact? Drop firework down a manhole. Cover it. The whole ground around it will shatter. A car. In the- Sewer system. Hopefully it doesn't cause the rest of the house to explode. Wait, what? Oh, oh okay. Also, About that house. <laughs> also, this is a really nice house, actually. I wish I owned this house. Same. How much more trouble do you have to go through for cleaning said house? Crap, I didn't think about that. That's why I don't want no mansion. If I lived in a house like that, I would not make any messes because I would just be like, it's so beautiful and pristine, I don't want to screw it up. My cat is in the room, or one of my cats. She says, hmm, this device here is very interesting. This is Lacey. She's kind of chatty sometimes. Just drive backwards. Welcome oh, to the anti -void. The end. Oh, welcome to the anti void. Where physics is not a problem. Yeah, this guy just lives in the Spectre dimension. Just drops through a wormhole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number six is the wind. This one, I believe, Sorry. was the teacher's idea. All right. Uh, just a beautiful day out in the middle of the North Dakota Plains, and oh no. This is not normal. I, I'm actually kind of... Oh, Lacey's eyeballing the car. She's like following it. Banishing my knee. Lacey is going to follow the car. like oh my gosh what's going on i'm confused that's a very elaborate animation that really dragged on oh and there's the wait what <laughs> what it just teleports into the cow oh wait. the animation okay game. i was about to say do this <laughs> this cow is clearly superimposed into the 
image, but where is this? This looks like a place, an abandoned place in the middle of North North Dakota, out in the middle of butt Nowhereville. That's where just... Jack lives, where he takes his all of his <laughs> Jack. Shit. I'm allowed to say that, by the way, because I live in North Dakota. But yeah, Dad. number seven. The oh Hindenburg. no, not the Hindenburg. I forgot what this is. The Hindenburg was an old like Zeppelin airship. So the Hindenburg. Oh yes, this guy also lives in the Spectre Dimension, which has a road, by the way. I forgot to mention that earlier. There, there's a road. Oh, <laughs> just a, what? So a floating road. Right, where am I? <laughs> floating road? Where am I? I think I censored this because I made this at school. What? Oh, um, that's, I don't think that's how- Whack it! <laughs> it just falls. I feel like YouTube guidelines would strike us. Oh no, I completely, I never, <laughs> I never actually noticed that the swastikas were on the Hindenburg. But well, it makes sense, it was a German construct, I believe. I don't remember if this was before, after, or during the whole Nazi thing. I'll Google it, we'll figure out. I'll, editing Nate, just feel free to leave that. I'm making editing Nate's job really hard. He's gonna hate me. This was my attempt at making this look like actual- What this remind me of is Angry Birds. <laughs> so this guy just casually went into the Hindenburg that way. They're gonna <laughs> Are these guys ghosts? I don't know if this was a real image of the Hindenburg or not. It might just be some random Zeppelin. Oh, I made the car black and white. That's actually kind of a nice touch. Effort. No, how do I get out of here? Can I just drive out? We're not gonna comment on this. This was an Ant Venom reference. Reference to one of his old Aether videos. Oh. Yes, that's what caused the Hindenburg. The only disaster. effort you put in. It was black and white. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as we all know, this is actually what caused the Hindenburg disaster. It was that, uh, you know, a, a guy Some in Some interdimensional uh, <laughs> car of a confused man got <laughs> flung like Angry Birds into the blimp, phased through with the sound while it's clipping through of Gmod Ragdoll. <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> then... Insert portal noise here into this little compilation of the explanation of the car appearing into the thin air of the blimp. Insert car drift noise, then cut to this picture. I'm just gonna have it zoom in on your face the whole time, and editor Nate just is gonna completely ignore all of your suggestions. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh no! Ah, and he just Where are we dropping, died. boys? Fortnite reference. The giant horse thing I'm a douche. This is my. Watch him I call it. Who's you? What's it? Thing I'm a bobber. This is my version of that. Look, look, this is a nice image. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day. Nothing to worry about for once. No creatures trying to eat my car. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Oh, he shrunk. Oh my god, look what? Hans! Oh my it's lord! It's Jose! What happened to the horse? I remember what happened here was that I wanted to make a transparent image of a horse. I couldn't find one, so I took an image of a horse with a white background, removed all the white from the image, and this is what the result was. Okay. Oh, the horse descended. <laughs> ah! Wait, where'd he go? Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend he trampled the car. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he ate the car, I guess. Oh no, a demolition derby. Uh, okay, this is just a looping animation. Battle. Wait, what? What the what? <laughs> what, the, what? <laughs> Insert nuclear explosion. I think I was supposed to drive sport a little bit. <laughs> Triggers atomic landmine. What I think I was supposed to do was click twice in rapid succession so it would look like the cars crashed like this. And somehow that causes world ending catastrophe. Yeah. Catapult. <laughs> okay. Oh, catapult. you mean. No, not that kind of catapult. Catapult. Oh. oh. Okay. Speaking Finally, something Lacey! <laughs> okay, why did this guy voluntarily. Okay. Oh no. Okay, now we're in space. Uh, oh. Um. Expand. He float. Okay, the, the catapult flung him up into space. Now he's in the North Pole. North Pole was here. What is this one guy just doing? I'm pretty sure that guy is like a superimposed image. What's he doing there? Oh god, okay, this is the last one. And finally... Um... 
quantum explosion. Yep, that's the last one. I think this was supposed to be a, a very, very small chance of the universe spontaneously disappearing. A tree. Seriously, Nate, that was the best you could... Yeah, I think I got lazy at the end and was just like, eh. We'll just have it crash into a tree. I I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. Ooh, pick up a car, chuck it against a tree. Where was this in that stick? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's it? How climactic of a final conclusion that was. The end. Okay, sure. That was a thing. This was a real thing I made when I was in high school. I, I'm, you know, I'm kind of going through the same existential crisis you did when you remembered in our Ethan video that you practiced the goat sound over the years. Here's the thing, though. We're not done yet, because we still have time for probably one more. We have the main two, which was 11 Ways to Destroy Your Car 1 and 2, because, yes, of course I made a friggin' sequel. And then I tried to make one called Ways to Destroy Your Plane, and I just didn't finish that one, I think, so... I wonder why... So let me quickly download Ways to Destroy Your Car 2. I think we have enough time for that one.